for people who don't know who you are, you know, like we're going to talk about a whole bunch of stuff today, but um, stay as long as you need to just message us in the private chat. It's like, Hey, you guys sort of suck. I'm going to be leaving in like five minutes, right? Oh, no, but, no. <laughs> yeah, so uh, for people who uh, uh, who don't know who you are, uh, you know, tell us uh, who uh, who are you and what do you do? Okay, so I basically, so I started playing with the YouTube and internet stuff, really like streaming, playing games. So I do a lot of that. But I would say it's been a little over a year that I started doing podcast stuff where it's a little bit of pop culture stuff, but I kind of, besides our Saucy Saturday, which is a show that I was just doing, um, I, I don't do that much pop culture stuff anymore. Just some stuff maybe that I like, which is sadly not that much these days. But um, yeah, so that's it. I just and I also do pirate stuff, a lot of pirate stuff. Um, I know you guys, I'm sure, have seen me on History of Pirates with Jay and X. Uh, X I almost said X-Ray. There's two. The, I, I, I confuse them all the time. Like I get messages from both of them. I'm like X-Ray, X-Wing. Wait, I'm gonna end up sending like the wrong message. <laughs> X-Wing and Kings, and sometimes capable gentlemen. Um, so yeah, I kind of do a lot. Like a I would say a little bit of everything, but it's just, it's a mix. Um, yeah, it's a lot of fun, but that's, that's me. I don't, you know, I do cosplay sometimes too. That's basically yeah. it. <laughs> that's awesome. So, um, yeah. like, uh, how did you like, you know, like get, get in touch with like, uh, you know, Jay and like X-Wing and stuff like that? Like how, how did you guys start like, um, you know, doing the, the, the pirate stuff? And, um, I, I know you guys play a sea of thieves, like on, on a weekly basis. So like, like how, how did you guys meet and like how like how, how did you like meet like the rest of the crew so out of like everyone like like you know g and g and stuff i guess and like all them um i i actually didn't know who any of them were i found jay the, for the first it was on instagram because gina posted something about him doing like a, a charity and, and the funny thing is i had no idea that he was even like a streamer on youtube at this point he'd already did like an interview with her and he was getting like bigger he was part of gng didn't know who any of them were um i just saw you know that he did a charity thing she put it on i think it was an instagram story because i didn't have twitter at this point either um and i had taken a break from streaming i used to only stream on twitch games and i had taken like a year break at this point so i was completely out of the game i didn't know anything but yeah she posted that and i seen and i thought his uh name was funny i thought the name drunk Dripio was funny and uh, he posted all like the work he does, like humanitarian work and stuff. And I was like, oh, that's real nice. I could use this on my feed. And that's literally just like how I started following him and then met him. And I seen all the rebellion stuff. And I was like, this is awesome. So and yeah. And then eventually I found I think Park Oppen was probably the first G&G thing I ever had seen. And I found who everyone else was through that. And yeah. And the pirate stuff that was all just Jay just asked me to join. He uh, knows I like pirate stuff and I always did like. I always do pirate cosplays and stuff. So they asked me to come on and I was really happy. That's honestly probably my favorite show that I do because it's just so chill and it's fun. It's different. It's not pop culture. And I love learning stuff. I love history things. So, yeah, I even do videos sometimes from on the Horrid History channel. If you guys have heard of that one, that is his newest channel. Yes. I know he's got like 30 yes. channels. <laughs> that's one yeah. of them. I've done, I've done a video on there. Uh, that's also fun. It's, I like that. I like history stuff. So. Yeah, it's not really in depth. It was basically I found him because Gina really to sum it up, <laughs> which I think a That's lot of people awesome. did. So you, you've only been like doing like like streaming on like YouTube and like going making videos for a, a short amount of time. Yeah, it's been it's been a few years because I, I didn't really, you know, I, I didn't have a lot of viewership or anything when I was just doing gaming stuff. And then I started doing yeah. Wicked's World, which was the first podcast that I started doing. I, I stopped doing that for a little bit, but just brought that back. Um, and that was it was central around pop culture stuff. And then I got tired of it and I took a few months off doing that show. And now I just kind of uh, it's a little bit different. I just have guests sometimes and we just talk about random topics that are going on in the world. And I some funny stuff. And uh, I actually have a Monday show now that I do, too. That's a Monday coffee show, just an hour long. And I talk about positive things like I did Thomas Soul. The other day um just random stuff like that i try to put some positivity out there since well you guys know you're here on the internet you see what goes on there's not much positivity especially these yep. days yep yeah yeah the, 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 there's definitely a lot of um i'll say like negativity online and, and plus yeah. like the people who are usually online um who are spewing a lot of like negativity and hateful stuff are, are usually that the loudest ones even though they are the loudest they are a minority but they are mm -hmm. you know, They're the loudest yeah, the squeaky wheel definitely gets the grease. But awesome. Uh, thank you so much for joining us. And uh, so uh, you're a big horror fan, right? Yeah, I mean, I do. I like, 
I like more of the old school stuff, right? Like, I know people think that because I play a lot of horror games and stuff that that's my favorite genre. It's not, but I do like a lot of horror. I like, I'm just a big film buff, like a big movie buff. Like, old school horror, horror is great. I'm not big on, like, the gore stuff. Like, mm. I like the campy, silly slasher ones the best. Like, Evil Dead, I actually mm. just got this thing. Evil Dead 2 is my favorite. Um, uh, Lulu, one of my peoples, gifted this to me. It's awesome. I love the Evil Dead franchise. That's uh, but that's more of the silly, campy horror but it you know but yeah i am into horror yes is that is that our next topic something yeah it it is a little bit related because you do play oh like uh, i'm not sure this is this is a segue into uh, our our first topic um and it's just one post but um i do want to talk about it you play dead by daylight correct yes (laughs) oh so we're gonna do that one the uh the trans monster we're we're starting with that (laughs) one we're starting with that (laughs) coming in hot (laughs) yeah Yeah, no that's a Yeah. Oh, God. Are you going to bring it up? Guys, be careful, Chad. You're not ready for this. <laughs> it's so, scary. Um, I'll give them that. <laughs> yeah. I, I, I've always, uh, people who have been playing Dead by Daylight, like, it's like, oh, you should play it. It's, it's really fun. And um, like, I, I know that they added um, Nicolas Cage like last year or something. Oh, like God. That. He's like the best. And it's not a character from a, a movie, it's just Nick Cage. It's just Nick Cage. <laughs> it's so funny. He has so many lines. I haven't even heard them all. Like, he just has these funny little things like, Ugh. Like, cause you know how in the game they put you on a hook, he'll be getting carried over the hook. He's like, don't put me on a hook. I'm not a worm. Just like he yells stuff like that. It's so funny. And it's actually Nick Cage. It's great. I, I, he's, That's awesome. He, he's like my favorite. Just, just randomly like, okay, we get all these horror characters, but then just Nick Cage. He's the only one that's just Nick Cage. Like they have Ash, they have Bruce Campbell, but it's Ash. It's not Bruce Campbell. It's Ash Williams. Yeah. So oh, it's great. I love it. <laughs> Yo, Psychotic Mongos, thank you so much for the gifted uh, membership. Yo, thank you, thank you. Yo, thank you so much for that. Yes, chat. I mean, if you guys haven't done so, um, subscribe, uh, like, share, all that stuff. Um, yes, also subscribe and follow uh, Wicked Virtue. It should be in the description below in her link tree. Link tree is good? Yeah. Here's one. All right, cool. Yeah, fo- follow her everywhere. She's uh, uh, Her link tree is in the description below. But yes, um, let's go ahead. Yo, Celluloid Dreamer. Celluloid Ooh. Dream, thank you so much for the uh, gifted membership as well. Thank you, thank you. Holy Membership shit. party. Thank you, thank you. Yo, uh, thank you so much for that. But yes, um, I do want to talk about this. So um, there's the a lot unknown of... is the name of this <laughs> <Yeah>. one. <laughs> Which is crazy. Okay, so I'm not going to bring up the, the, the photo yet. Too scary. <laughs> you don't, you don't yeah, want everyone so... to leave. <laughs> yeah, so uh, let's go ahead and bring this up right over here. This is this is a statement from the person that was voicing the character, if I'm not mistaken. So yep. um, this is right over here. I'm going to zoom in a little bit. It says, uh, regarding my recent viral witch hanging... I voiced a character from uh, the character un, uh, The Unknown in Dead by Daylight. At the time of voicing, it was a great experience. I was told at the time I was voicing the character that there was no model and that the creature was supposed to be a uh, amorphous. So, uh, so I so I work in the video game industry. So usually in the beginning there is concept. Yeah first concept usually comes first and then voice so this person yeah. sort of got uh <laughs> probably uh baited into this one it, it, i'm not sure if they did it purposefully but usually when we come up with uh with a uh, characters first we usually and let's have this person in mind already like oh um we i don't know what what character this is but i want idris alba to voice it it's like they have someone in mind i'm not sure how big this person is but let's continue uh they had no model design before i recorded my lines so it's my assumption that the design team took my medical history and my ability to use multiple voices as an opportunity to create character models that encapsulate my medical history as trans and capitalize on catering to the transphobic community. I was tricked into voicing a stereotype. Since yesterday, I have been virally right. harassed for being trans by thousands of people <laughs> since yesterday. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> I've been tricked. Oh. Yeah, oh, no, that's tricked. so. If you know anything about Dead by Daylight, like it's they're they're a Canadian company, and they're very pro like LGBT and all that, right? So I don't think that I think this was a this was not intentional. They weren't trying to make fun of the trans community or anything. And if you want to pull up, I just put in the private chat. Uh, this person took all this back and it's really funny especially if you look at their twitter because the banner is the un- the picture of the unknown and in the actual description of like her his whatever it's twitter page it says like um 
oh, I'm voicing the unknown. So really, <laughs> they're really taking this back. And it's kind of funny. Uh, if you read the tweet that I put, it makes it even funnier because like it's, it's I, we did this on my thing, like right after. Just read it. It's hilarious because they just because you're gonna, not going to get any voice work. Right. You're coming at the Definitely. company. Nobody's going to want to hire you. And it's like if, if you really care that much about your image, then, you know, I guess give the money back and have them take the character out, have them take you. You know what I mean? Uh, yep. And, yep. and another thing, I'm sure in the contract, because the, didn't they say right here? Or no, I think in the, the tweet here, they say that they were trying to get all the info on the character and stuff. And that's like, well, when you signed the contract, did you read it? Yeah. Like, did the contract yeah. say that you need to be let in on all these details or not? Because I'm guessing it didn't. So if you cared about that so much, you should have had to put in the contract. I mean, I don't know much about contracts and video game stuff, but that's just how I look at it. Um, if it was that important, ask questions maybe before you sign the contract and do the voice. I don't know. <laughs> what do I know? Yeah, I'm yo. just a girl on the Internet. <laughs> yo, Side Scroll hey. is hanging out in the chat. Hey. Hello, hello. It says, it's, hey, guys. Is it just Craig? To say congrats. Yeah, is it Craig? <laughs> Or is it Blabs? It's probably uh, yeah. Blabs is probably asleep. Yeah. Let's be honest. Yeah, yeah, yeah I think so. <laughs> uh, love seeing you grow. Yo, thank you so much, uh, Side Scroll. Thank, for thank you. Out. Also, stop harassing people. <laughs> <laughs> no, we're gonna continue. <laughs> Never. <laughs> yo, thank you so much for hanging out. Uh, yo, I hope you're doing well. Okay, so we're gonna bring up the the, the, the photo. So uh, it, it, everybody you get are, uh, ready. <laughs> yeah, avert your eyes, you know. Uh, so I, I, this is just the, like the up close shot right over here. Yeah. yeah like I think there's a yeah. full body one where the body is like sort of contorted. Like, yeah. <laughs> so I'm not sure. Like, I know I haven't actually kept up. I haven't played. I've been into like you guys said, I play a lot of Sea of Thieves and, and I'm getting into Helldivers and stuff too right now. So I've kind of that my daylight is taking a bit of a back seat. Um, but from what I've heard, this character can morph into other characters. That's one of their like perks. So it's like, that's not really yeah. trans. That's uh, what word is it? I don't know. Morpher. I don't freaking know. Yeah. But, yeah. yeah. You know, it's, yeah. I just yeah, think it's, it's like, so it non-binary. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I know. Sorry. I don't know all the, yeah. uh, these fancy terms. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Well, I, we don't know all the letters anymore because like that gets updated every week. <laughs> it's like, exactly. But the, yeah. The thing is like, if you, if you're voicing for a, for a, a character in a game a game like dead by daylight right you, you gotta expect some zombies there <laughs> you I better make my monster pretty well, or i'm gonna be mad yeah, well, <laughs> well, I, what was she expecting she's gonna look like tifa it's like i don't know it's like it, it's it's really it's really strange it's like for me it would be fine it's like i i would even be for me any person it's like if i was to voice a zombie I would feel more motivated if it looked something like that. Cause like I get you get to be wild. You get to voice act however you, you get to make those disgusting zombie sounds. For me, it'll be a fun experience on top of getting paid. But for some reason, she sees herself identifying as that. Yeah, that's that's really yeah, you're really pushing the envelope there. It's like I, I don't know. She... And her, like, I keep saying her, and like, everyone in my chat was like, it's it. I'm like, you know, I'm, this, this is all confusing, okay? But when she, they say it has to be an attack of being physically, uh, a risk of being physically attacked, it's like nobody knows, especially when you hear how it uh, sounds, the monster, it's not, you know, like, like how we sound clearly. It, it's, it's like a monster sound. So now that she made such a, big stink about it that's why people are gonna know you know what she looks like and everything and i i think it backfired she wanted attention right she's trying to bring more views more engagement you know the drama but it backfired yeah. bad so that's why they backtracked and i sent you the, i don't know if you guys already had, had that you might have but the, the tweet i think the post that, that you showed was maybe from like facebook or something i'm not sure um, okay. but they backtracked, right? They totally tweeted or whatever, put that post up about, you know, feeling attacked and they'd come. I, I don't know, chat, you can answer this. Does it seem like that post is trying to get them to like, get people to boycott behavior, the development company a little bit, right? Yeah. Or like, give them some hate. Yeah. And, yeah. and then the, and then the tweet, this was two days ago, the tweet that I sent you guys that they put out and it's like backtracking hard because they don't care about actually getting money like or not money they, they only care about the money you know they cash the check already it's yeah but you're right it's said by daylight what did you expect there's only one decent looking monster in the game and it's the skull merchant 
but even that character she has like half of like a cyborg kind of mask but she's she's thick and all the boys love it when i play skull merchant <laughs> call her skull mommy <laughs> it's, it's the only yeah. good looking one <laughs> so yeah uh side scroll says yes it's craig gotta show that support yo what's going on craig yo thank you thank you for hanging out thank you thank you i uh, appreciate it all right so uh, so let's continue with the with this one word over here. Many folks in the trans community are up in arms over this, and rightfully so. All right, three people. Uh, <laughs> yep. I feel that the rep reparations from the team that deliberately tricked me is the only logical next. <laughs> uh, reparations. Okay. Um, I don't. I don't think that's the right word. Uh, probably sue for damages, but maybe. But I, uh, let's let's continue. See, I'm. I am so upset, so infuriated that people are comparing trans people to these clearly transphobic characters' skin. Uh, so, sorry, skins. Uh, if I had any idea of the fallout that would happen after simply voicing a character, I would never have in the first place. Let me personally apologize, apologize to anybody who has been a victim of transphobia due to the release. Please let me know. Uh, please know that you are loved. Uh, know that you are valid. So. Uh, so uh, as for me, I'm not okay. This has ruined my reputation, has put me physically at risk of being there attacked it is. in the public. Physically. If anybody recognizes my face or voice, wow. Uh, there uh, were no uh, diversity consultants on this project. Are there diversity consultants? I is that a job? This is a Canadian <laughs> company? Well, oh, probably. Probably. <laughs> if it's from Canada. Yeah, yeah. R R Ryan mentioned that they already had, and Jeremy said that Dead by Daylight is notorious for pushing diversity. Ironically, they are. <laughs> ironically. That's the thing. They're they're so, yeah. oh my god, they're so pro like LGBT. The only thing they're anti is anti gun. They'll put characters like from Resident Evil, uh, Ash from Evil Dead, and they have their gun holsters and stuff, but no guns in them because mm -hmm. God forbid, you know, characters that can't even use weapons in the game that get murdered have a, a gun on them for decoration. Yeah. Awful. Oh, man. <laughs> the company knew that making a stereotypical man in a dress as a character and having a trans voice actress voice it would bring lots of money and people back into the game. I'm not dumb. I know how marketing works. This seems to be a huge ploy in a trans community along with myself. <laughs> <laughs> this is the one that you, um, that the tweet, right? That you put up. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> there's been a recent misunderstanding i love how it started even like <laughs> so when you go back to back reading the mess the post that you just did and then this one it's like the misunderstanding you're the one that made the post what are you talking about yep exactly <laughs> yeah yeah now everyone is like wow oh I, I didn't know this person was voiced by a trans person but now it's sort of, it's sort of like you know it's, it's like a streisand effect kind of thing it's like no one knew about it until you brought it up Mm -hmm. I, I don't know if, if if this is a grifting thing where they're like, oh, now I can get more followers from like my base or something, but are are people who are like, um, you know, who 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 are I, I'm not saying that I, I'm anti LGBTQ. Like I have LGBTQ friends and stuff like that. I have trans yeah. friends, yeah. exactly. But no. the thing is that like this person sounds like it's just like, hey, uh, you know, um, I. I need more followers and um, you know, maybe on the bottom if you scroll down or something, there's a GoFundMe. Okay, there is it. <laughs> <laughs> that would be funny. There's the only fans link at the end. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, let's see. Uh anybody that thinks the uh the skins are going away is not in the loop. A behavior is allegedly aware of the mass transphobic remarks and memes being made, and the game memes. community is not a reflection. Uh, of the game developers, I think people can, are. I forgot which country it is. It's like they're saying that memes is considered like a hate crime. Oh God, probably Canada or maybe the UK. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. I wasn't kept in the loop with that. Uh, what the character's final look would be. I was given an ambiguous description for the part, and even though I tried my best to find out more, continually asking for more info, that wasn't possible. This is why I was upset. The skins themselves. Were never the issue. Lack of communication was. Please stop boycotting behavior. Uh, they are not transphobic. It's wrong to take bits of info and jump to your own conclusions. <clears throat> Excuse me. Uh, behavior is a good company, and uh, is, is that the company? Behavior. Yeah, behavior is the company that makes it. But he, like, yeah. Okay. Let's see. Um, is a good company and it has nothing but kind and support through this tough process of receiving mass harassment 
for my involvement in the character. <laughs> Leave it alone. <laughs> oh man. But yeah, like the reason look, it's, look at it's the, crazy. their Twitter. Look at the Twitter. Just just a quick little peek. I'm look a, at a, a voice YouTuber. actress who voiced the unknown, like in the description, like on the Oh, so you even take pride of it then. And the uh, the Jeez. banner is the unknown. That's what they have as their uh Twitter banner is that character now too. Jeez. <laughs> <laughs> I know, I know. Uh, Backpedaling hard. <laughs> yeah, it's like, hey, I'm very upset, but also, I did you know that I voice this character? This is the only thing I've ever done. Yeah. Please, <laughs> please support yeah. it. Yeah, that, yeah, that, 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 that's insane. Like, uh, mm -hmm. when I saw this, I was like, I thought this was like something so, that someone was just pointing fun at. Like, like I, I think the first time I saw it was either on Melanie Max thing uh or and that's why this, that's this is the one that's actually from melly max uh thing is where she's, <laughs> she's the one who pointed it out i'm like was it her or was it jeremy uh from geeks and gamers i'm like oh uh, nevertheless it's just i thought it was funny and then i read the actual what why is this important and then i was like oh <laughs> like it could be inadvertently done uh but i'm pretty sure it's not it's just oh whoops um but yeah uh it's now would you play this character <laughs> i actually might um in a a funny way there may be a special stream yeah. coming where i'm going to give this uh lovely little yeah. zombie a try <laughs> thanks for checking out this segment of the project egg Row podcast if you like what we do here please like share subscribe hit the notification bell and you will know next time when we go live we do go live every saturday at 8 p.m once again we are just getting started tons of more video to come thanks and we'll see you guys next time